Good morning gamers! This is how you build the best villager trading hall in Minecraft 1.19.4+. This trading hall works by flicking a lever to let villagers float upwards, so then a zombie can turn them into a zombie villager. Once they have turned into zombie villagers, they float downwards. You can flick the lever again and splash them with weakness, which will turn them back into villagers and make their prices even cheaper. You can infinitely expand this farm to as large as you want. This design is heavily based on the design by Pancake on Nugtech, so be sure to say thank you in the comments. I'm here with my assistant Yellow, so let's jump right into it. If you build this farm, be sure to let me know in the comments and subscribe so I don't miss it. The first step is to gather your villagers for the trading hall. You can move them to the building spot by boat, minecart, or even flying machine if you'd like. Now that everyone is here, let's begin. Here are the materials for the farm. You can use any block and place a smooth stone and the glass is optional. If you need a world download or light matic, then join my discord. The first step is to place wooden pressure plates spaced one block away from each other. Then build a three block high wall that surrounds the sides and the backs of the pressure plates. Next, across the top, build a bar that connects the two sides. Now jump down and place two blocks between each pressure plate like this. Then place slabs underneath these blocks. Place any workstation in front of the wooden pressure plates. Next, place your levers above the workstations. Now trap all your villagers in a box behind using temporary blocks. Then build a staircase up and create a wall across the front like this. Next, break the boats the villagers are in, and they will just walk right into the trading hall. Once they are all in, break all the dirt on the top level. Place trapdoors at the bottom of the top block in each hole. Fill these two with water and break the block in between to make an infinite water source. With this water, fill the other holes. Once you are finished, place the block back between the two water sources. Then build the optional glass window between the two sides. Next, place two blocks on both sides of the glass and blocks on top. Now place two blocks here and build out with slabs until you reach the other side and place another two blocks. Then, behind that, build up three blocks and build across until you reach the other side and place three more blocks. This is where the zombie will go. On the back of the trading hall, place in the back like so. And finally, place six trap doors above the workstations. Now it's time to get the zombie. For the zombie, you can either get a name tag from fishing, trading, or a dungeon. If you don't want to get a name tag, then find a zombie that can pick up an item and it won't despawn. Have the zombie follow you and build a staircase here and break these two blocks. The zombie will come inside and lead it to a corner and then block it in. Name tag it if it's not holding an item. Also, you can now break the surrounding dirt. And now your villager trading hall is ready. If you want to improve your trading hall, you can place magma blocks under the workstations to reduce lag. To save resources, you can craft arrows of weakness and use a piercing crossbow to infinitely cure the zombie villagers. 